Hi guys, this is Tom. And in the past two videos, we've been talking about uh, bottom bouncing. We talked about how to build a device to do it. Uh, we talked about what it is. And we also talked about why you should do it. Um, so, in this video, I'm going to take all that information and we're going to apply all that to this better place battery pack we have behind me. Okay, now the pack you see in front of the camera here is one of the Better Place packs that came from the Better Place bankruptcy sale. This is the very same cell that is in the Nissan Leaf. The cell is manufactured by Automotive Energy Supply Corporation, which I believe is based in Japan. Okay, I think right here I'll uh, give you a few specs on the battery pack. The battery pack is constructed from a pouch cell. You see right here in the picture. Each cell has a nominal voltage of 3.75 volts. And it has a capacity of 32.5 amps. There are a total of 192 pouch cells in the entire pack. The pack is made up of 48 modules. Each module consists of a total of four pouch cells. The pouch cells inside the modules are wired two in parallel and two in series. Remember, if you wire cells in parallel, you keep the voltage the same and add the capacities of the cells together. If you wire cells in series, you add the voltages of the cells together and the capacity stays the same. So since each module has four pouch cells wired two in parallel and two in series, then each module is nominally 7.5 volts with a 65 amp hour capacity. Now, I originally only planned for the pack to be about half the size of this pack right here. And I would say this is a fairly large pack for, uh, especially for a DIY build. 24 kilowatt hours is 24,000 watts. I think the Electric Civic is going to weigh in between 2,600 and 2,700 pounds. If we take the formula 10 pounds per 1 watt per 1 mile, that comes out to 260 watt to 270 watt per mile with the, with the Civic's weight. So I think 250 watt per mile is probably a reasonable number uh, to shoot for here with the car. And this means that with the 24,000 watt pack, if you divide it by 250 watts, it'll come out, uh, we'll have a maximum range of 96 miles on paper. So to continue on with our task here, I want to show you what, I have, what I've learned with bottom balancing these cells. First off, I want to say these cells are very, very, and I really mean very, bouncy. Meaning, after the load has, has been taken away from the cell, the voltage will continue to creep up for a full five days before finally settling. This makes bottom balancing these particular cells very difficult and time consuming. But, I think I figured out the recipe, so to speak, on how to get it done. Okay, so initially what I did was I pulled the cells down from where I received them to around 3.3. They're all, oh, I didn't want to say they're within about a tenth of 3.3, and hopefully you guys can see that right there. So then after that, I took and hooked my bottom balancer up to it. And let's see here, I had, uh, I had it set at 2.5 volt to disengage uh, and at 2.8 volt to engage the load. And I left it on for a timed 8 hours on each one of the cells. After this, I let the cells rest for at least 5 so days. So after 5 days, this is the voltage that they came to rest at, right around 3.109. So over a five day period, the voltage crept up well over three tenths of a volt. Not only was my voltage much higher than I wanted, but they were bouncing nearly four tenths of a volt. So after some thought, I decided I'd change my programming on my relay. 
I kept my cutoff voltage at 2.5 but I changed my engagement number from 2.8 to 2.7 and I applied the device for a timed four hours. After leaving the cells alone for five days they settled right into the tolerance I this was looking for. This one's 2.884. I did three total uh, on my little test here. The next one is 2.885. Six, crept up to six there. And the third one is 2.880. So to sum it up, from a resting voltage of around 3.3 volt with my relay set at 2.5 and 2.8 for 8 hours, then waiting at least 5 days, then with my relay set at 2.5 and 2.7 for 4 hours, they are exactly where I want them to be. I have heard getting them all within 0.05 volt is good. We will see how they all turn out and I'll keep you updated in the future. Okay guys, so next week we're going to leave the battery bench uh, because they don't need our help. All they need is for me to switch batteries from time to time. And uh, we'll go work on another part of the electric drivetrain and the electric Civic. So I hope you enjoyed watching and um, click that subscribe button down there so you don't miss an episode. We'll catch you later.